Do you have any idea what it's like to be a video game journalist? I mean, take reviews. Everyone, everyone takes reviews, but they take them, take them for granted. They just assume, oh, he's a, he's a video game reviewer. He's going to go out there and have a great time reviewing the video game. Isn't it great that he gets to be, to be paid to review a video game? He's literally getting money to look at a toy and critique it. But it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. For starters, you've got to play it. You know, if you want to do what you're meant to do, you've got to play it for like 10 hours minimum. You've got to finish the game. What if a game is 50 hours long? 50 hours long. Do I look like someone that has time to spend 50 hours on a video game? Got news stories to write. Got to go to events, previews, interviews. What am I meant to do if I get a call from Activision? They say, do you want to come and interview the head of Call of Duty? And I'm already reviewing a game. How am I meant to balance that? Never think about that. Never think about that, do you? Just think that I'm having a laugh playing a video game. And let me tell you the real truth. Here's the real truth. Not everybody fitting this as a game. Don't get to the get credits. They play it for two hours and they think, well, I've kind of played a video game like this before, so I'll just give it the score that I think it deserves. It's because all video games are basically the same. You can't even critique me for doing that. You can't come, you can't review me. Because I sometimes don't finish a game. Hell, sometimes I don't even play them. If I do, we just mention Call of Duty. If Call of Duty comes out, you know it's gonna be like the last game. You just whack a seven on it. Well, no, you don't whack a seven on it. You whack an eight on it. This is the other thing people don't know, the review system. You used to be able to whack a seven on everything, and it was fine. Publishers were happy with a seven. Everybody was happy with a seven, but then things changed. All of a sudden, a seven wasn't good enough anymore. We had to push it up to an eight. Now eight's starting to become a problem. It's all just one big Metacritic racket. And we got 10 numbers, and three quarters of them aren't even used. We use eight, nine, and 10. Eight basically means it's okay. Nine means it's pretty good. And 10, which was like, you know, the thing that all games used to sort after is now, I don't even know what it means. It's just nothing. See, 10's all over the place. And you use one if you're trying to make a statement and you want more people to click through to your website. Two, you never see. Three sometimes comes into, into play if the game is buggy. Four, five, six, seven, don't exist. They don't exist. If you walk up to a video game journalist and you say, give me some numbers, they'll probably go one, three, eight, nine, ten. That's all they know. That's all they know. And then what you're meant to do with the fallout from that. Let's say that you do give the new Call of Duty game a 3 out of 10 because it's buggy or you don't like its progression system. Then you know that Reddit or NeoGAF or Twitter or Facebook, you know they're out there calling you names. You know they're out there going, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about or this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. You have to deal with that. Forget the fact that you went out there looking for it in the first place. You could just ignore that stuff. You can't do that. We've all got egos, we've all got brains, we've all got minds, we've all got eyes. You get bored, you look up. You want to know. And what do you find? Someone calling you a fucking twonk stain. That's a real quote too. That's something I actually had to go through the other day. I looked myself up, I typed my name into Google, and I found this form, and there it was. Simon the Miller Report Miller doesn't know how to review games. He gave this 3 out of 10. What a fucking twonk stain. Not a fucking twonk stain. I'm a video game journalist. A video game journalist that every day has to fight off the temptation to give a game a good score because a publisher rang me up and offered me cash. How hard that is? How hard that is to turn down? You don't have a clue. You don't have a clue how hard it is to be a video game journalist.